All right, good evening, one and all. Welcome to the video. My name is Samit Shah, and I'm a full stack software engineer. In this video tutorial series, guys, I'm about to introduce you to Terraform. So I've been hearing this word all, all of now and then, Terraform, Terraform. So I decided to yeah, learn this and teach you guys. So what is Terraform? It's basically, let us read first of all a definition and then we'll see the installation guide for Windows. So uh, let me just read a couple of definition. What is Terraform? All right, Terraform, use infrastructure as code to provision and manage any cloud infrastructure or services. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, now I'll give you an example. For example, let's say you wanna launch an EC2 instance on AWS or Google or GCP or basically Microsoft Azure. So you basically go, you click on the buttons, you do all the settings and all. But what Terraform says is instead of doing that, you do the infrastructure as a code. So you write scripts automatically and the scripts will be taking care of all of that. It's very, very powerful. And if you are a DevOps engineer, I highly suggest you to learn Terraform because um, often in your company, uh, most, of the, uh, most of the time, they would be working with Terraforms. All right. So here you can see you can write declarative uh, configuration file, collaborate and share configuration, evolve and version your infrastructure and automate provisioning. So these are, this, these are the example of Terraform. Who uses Terraform? Um, basically everyone. And these are the popular plugins. I mean, Datadog, Kubernetes, VM, Oracle, GCP, and the big guy, AWS. So all of them use this uh, Terraform. Uh, so we so so basically here you can see I do have scripts. We learn all of these how to write scripts in Terraform and all of that. Let us see how to install Terraform now. So uh, go to Terraform, go to download section right here. So go to the Windows section. I'm gonna be uh, showing you for the Windows. Download 32 or 64 bit. Now what you have to do is basically once you download, extract the zip. Okay, I would recommend to do it on desktop. Then it's up to you guys. Create a folder called as Terraform on your desktop, okay? And what you have to do is basically, again, then what you wanna do is basically, uh, when you uh, create a folder called as AWS inside that Terraform folder. So, okay, come, let's do it again. So create a folder called as Terraform on the desktop. Create a folder called as AWS, right? Um, actually, you know what, uh, basically, uh, forget that. So you need to create a folder called as bin, uh, my bad. You have to create a folder called as bin and this exe file, you have to put it inside the bin, okay? Let me repeat. Sorry for the confusion. Um, so what you have to do is create a folder called as Terraform, then basically create a folder called as bin, right? And inside that, put your terraform.exe file, perfect. Now, once you have done that, we need to set up your environment variable. So wherever your subdirectory is, the outer bin directory, right? So what you wanna do is basically, you want to create an environment variable so we can basically so i'm gonna go to the environment variable environment variable go to the path section and here you can see c user uh, desktop terraformed and slash bin so give the path for the bin file right guys so um, once you give it that um, you should be able to see something like this so if you say terraform you should see something like this that means terraform is installed So I have the version 12.24. Uh, so um, in the next video, we will get started with the Terraform and AWS. We'll create a, basically we'll create an IAM user on AWS and we'll create all the essential keys. And I'll show you how to set up Terraform now. We'll be actually using it. So in the next video, coming up uh, uh, tutorials on Terraform. So how to set up things related to AWS and all of that. So we'll see that in the next video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like and do check out my part two. All right, see you in the next video.